Gemini, happy almost birthday. There's 20 days uh, from the 1st of May leading up to your birthday time. And the first few weeks of May are the time for you to go within and to reflect, kind of release. You're in a releasing a releasing phase. So the sun in Gemini, the re, when we start May, the sun, of course, is in Taurus, and it's moving towards you. And as it's moving towards you, that represents from your birthday year to your birthday year, this particular time is releasing and preparing for a great new year for you. And the energies of this month, there's the significant energies of this month are the solar eclipse, which is a big deal. We also have Mercury going into your sign, Mercury going into Gemini, Venus going into Gemini, which is a positive thing for you. And of course, Sun going into Gemini and the Uranus square Pluto energy and the lunar eclipse from your sign, Gemini to Sagittarius. So those are the major factors. Now, what does it mean for you? When Venus goes into Gemini, that is a time where little things start to happen for you that are positive. Now, it doesn't mean you go out and win the lottery or you get your dream job, but it can be little things, you know, phone call from somebody that you're happy to hear from. It can be somebody picks, buys you your coffee. Just it's time to bring more joy into your life. And Venus goes into Gemini on May 9th, which is also the day of the solar eclipse. Now, here's the difference. The solar eclipse energy is in Taurus that's behind your sign. So there's this illumination that's meant to happen for you to be aware of where you can do things in your life that are not in your best interest. And only you know that answer, right? Have you ever done anything where later on you go, why in the world did I do that? You know, that really wasn't that good for me or that really didn't help me get what I wanted or I'm sabotaging myself. So this, the first part of the month is about awareness of where you can sabotage yourself and to let that go. Any kind of thought you have about, oh, I wish I did it different, or I wish it was, you know, uh, in a different way or didn't happen, just let it go. It Learn from it, but let go the thoughts or the feelings that accompany it so you can release that and start your new year really fresh. When Mercury enters Gemini on May 15th, that is a time where you can get more communications from people, just start hearing from people, or that you may want to start to talk to people you haven't reached out to people you haven't reached out to in a while. And also, this is for everybody, Mercury is in its rulership when it's in Gemini. If you've been thinking about being, buying a new phone or electronic, in general, when Mercury's in Gemini, or good time to do it, or even looking at cars, vehicles. Uranus square Pluto, big deal, an overarching energy that on the planet has been represented as revolutions and the feeling of wherever people feel oppressed, wanting freedom, wanting to change, wanting to get anything that's in, you know, power struggles, control people, that they need to be brought to light. Anything that has been detrimental for the good of humanity needs to be brought to life. But what does it mean for you? The Uranus, the Uranus is in Aries and that's, that is two months before your sign. So it's in a sector that represents change around friendships and you can find you, uh, more different, unusual, unique people coming into your life, especially around your birthday month, May 20th and on. And then also Pluto is in a sector of the chart for you where it's, uh, it represents making adjustments. And so it's, how do I adjust to life? But where would you be making adjustments 
It's what you expect other people to give you or what you expect, the expectations. You know, there's a lot of unwritten expectations that we are, we adopt. We believe that if we're brought up in a family, there's an expectation that our primary caregiver as a young child isn't going to abandon us and is going to give us the food and shelter we need, right? And it's, so there's, and that's just a, a, a real basic one that anybody can get. Not that it always happens, but that anybody can get that there's really these expectations of others. There's expectation that if I work, then my employer is going to pay me. But there's more subtle expectations from friendships, from lovers, from different, you know, family members. And this is saying that there could be some change, shift in those hidden or subtle agreements that unspoken agreements. And the lunar eclipse, sun in Gemini, moon in Sagittarius, happening with partnerships. This is fun. You got Venus, Mercury, Jupiter together in your sign. This can be a really great time if you want a relationship, if you're desiring a relationship to either bring a new relationship in or to um, bring some spark and fun into the relationship that you have. The only caution is, is we got Neptune here and Neptune is square the solar eclipse, this lunar eclipse. Therefore, that unrealistic expectations can come up, but it's also very dreamlike. It's really good just for a dreamy, romantic time together and for yourself personally to remember your dreams. Remember your dreams, remember your wishes, remember what is possible. It might take some work, but remember the possibilities and don't let anybody take away the possibilities from